are. Today is what? Friday. Oh, it's not the 13th. No, it's the 11th. The 11th. Friday. God, the sun is right there. Ah. Friday the 11th. Okay, so what's happened today since yesterday? About, I don't know, since last night, probably seven or eight more orders. And one thing in particular that comes to mind that happened. Uh, early this morning and has been going on through the day is a guy won a, uh, a an auction uh, I think he did a buy it now auction I, I can't remember uh, it was it was for a uh, God what was it oh yeah the uh, it was a Samsung the Samsung virtual reality Oculus goggles or whatever um he won those, and I think it was for like nine dollars, right? I mean, really, relatively nothing, nine dollars to pay for something. Well, he messages me, and it was like five thirty, six in the morning. I get a message, and he says, "Hey, I won the auction for you for the Samsung uh, virtual reality goggles, and I want to know if you can do international shipping to Brazil." And my first response to him was like the other guy was like, yeah, um, I'll ship anywhere as long as you're paying for it. I don't care. I mean, I'm putting something in a box and I'm shipping it. You're the one that has to pay for it. So um, He goes, well, will you give me a price shipping here to me to Brazil? So I look it up and I get him the price and it's like uh, it was a pri priority mail or something. And it was, uh, I want to say, $38 and some odd cent. And I sent him a message and sent an invoice saying, this is how much it is with your item. Please pay so I can get it, I can get it shipped out today. And I'll do same day shipping. A little while later, I get a message back and it says, why priority can't you send first class? And I was like... I don't think it gave me the option, but let me look, and I'll get right back to you. So I went back on my laptop, looked on there, and noticed that first class shipping was at the very top of the list. But, you know, when it says how many days it's going to take you to get there and get your price, where first class was at the very top was zero. Meaning it doesn't, I guess, offer first class shipping there, or maybe for that item. I don't know. Um... So, I, what I did is I took a screenshot of the entire uh, shipping memorandum there that tells you everything, how much, uh, and all that. And I took a picture of it and I included it in the uh, message back to him. And I said, well, here, here's all the prices and all everything that they offer. So, you see there was no first class to begin with. I see him. I was like, can uh, if you can just go ahead and pay it, we'll take care of this. About two hours later, and, and I anticipated this, two hours later, I get a message that says, hey, um, my credit card's not working, or something's going wrong on uh, PayPal. Can you just cancel the order for me? And I was like, oh, hell no. So I sent a message back, and I was like, you know what, man, look. Um, I have a feeling the only reason you're not paying isn't because your card isn't working or there's something wrong with PayPal. I was like, I think it's just you don't like the price the, of that shipping. And, um, I said, there's nothing I can do about it, but why don't you honor the bid you made for the sale? Because, you know, I have, now I have to go through all this. I went through this trouble list, and I'm going to have to pay fees and everything. I was like, you know, this is a common problem on, on eBay. Just pay, just honor, you know, the obligation you made. You said you, you bought it, and it was up to you to pay for it all. And what I don't understand, and I sent him another message, and I said, look... Let me give you a little bit of advice, because I looked on his uh, user profile and seen another thing that was on. He had 
no feedback whatsoever. New person, so I heard that happens a lot with new people, and uh, I guess it's true. Well, anyway, I said, so look, um, I'm going to try and help you in the future next time you bid on anything. Why don't you uh, go ahead and contact the seller if you know that you're going to need someone to ship internationally and it doesn't state on there that they ship internationally? Why don't you ask them first if they don't mind shipping internationally or how much it's going to be before you bid or win a bid or hit buy it now? I mean, isn't, that would be the smart thing to do, to know what you're going to have to pay. I understand that he don't want to pay $8 for an item and then pay 36 almost $40 for shipping. I wouldn't want to do that either. But then again, um, I wouldn't put myself in that position. I would like to think that most people wouldn't. Um, an intelligent person could see past the sale and say, Oh, you know, shipping, I live in Brazil. Uh, why didn't he try to find something on his local market? Why didn't... Um, you just buy one there just for that price. I mean, hell, the thing isn't so much money now. I mean, it's a couple years old. You know, when they were new, they were expensive, but now you can pick them up anywhere. Well, maybe we should honor it just because it um, was, you know, just let him know that, you know, he needs to, you know, be certain before he does something like that again. Considering that it is only nine bucks. Or just tell him that he needs to pay, that he should pay for the, um, the eBay thing. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, we still see, have to pay for that. I'm not going to solicit him for anything. I just no, yeah, okay. I uh, just I'm saying though, but we 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 lose out on money that way. So I know. Well, I honor everything I said, just like the last thing that happened when um, we had that re return request. Yeah, but this um, is a can This is him asking to cancel yeah, because yeah, I know. This is him asking to cancel because he failed to do because, his due diligence yeah. and find out how much shipping was going to be, or even if I shipped internationally, which he didn't do to begin with. But, like I said, that, it's neither here nor there. Uh, what I did, what I did, I don't know if it matters. Like, I'm new. And to anyone who's watching this video, I've only got like five subscribers now. I am new. Um, what I did do, because I don't know what to do, I, I went ahead and put in a, uh, an unpaid item thing. I know he's not going to pay for it. And then I was going to call eBay later and tell them what happened and see what their suggestions are. And if any of you got any suggestions on what I should do, if, uh, you know, shoot them my way. I know one thing to do, like someone did to me when I was new, I was bidding on this gold ring I wanted really bad. I was going to win it. And on the last 10 seconds, I sniped the bid and won. And then the lady blocked me from her blocked me from winning and so I messaged her I said why did I do anything that offended you I'm gonna get out for a second to try not to sit here I said did I do anything that offended you I got she said, okay she said no you didn't do anything to offend me she's like I bought you because you have a low uh, uh, rate a low score because um, I think at that time I had only uh, sold like three things and bought one thing so she didn't know whether or not you know I was going to be a deadbeat buyer or whatever you call it and um, I assured her that you know I was the seller and um, I would never do that so she unblocked me and uh, I've been trying to buy something from her ever since but I just can't seem to win any of the, the bids and that's I, I hate bidding uh, I don't know about you guys or what only if if your sellers on eBay uh, whoever's watching but um, I try to stay away from bids unless I know it's something that's kind of tricky I'll usually give a really good uh, best offer or buy it now price that seems to keep me from giving away my stuff I learned that early too um, I had give away, I gave away a couple things in the beginning because I thought, hey, it's eBay, you're supposed to bid on everything. So I put everything on there, starting low bids. And the first four things or so that I sold literally gave them away. So <laughs> I was like, man, what the hell? And then I watched some tutorials, which gave me the idea for the reason why I'm doing the videos now. Um, I did some, to, you know, watch some tutorials and found out that, you know, hey, don't give your shit away doing bids. 
um, give good prices on buy it now or a best offer and give people a chance um, instead of giving your shit away because it seems to be the only thing that bidding's good for, right? So, um, what else? That's about it. Uh, I like to think I got like five new subscribers and I like to think the three new people that did subscribe. I know I'm probably not that exciting and, uh, it might not be that fun to watch. Yeah, I will ramp up content. Um, I've been thinking of ideas and things to do um, for my channel to try and get subscribers and um, make it a decent channel. Um, it's just right now I can't really focus too much time and effort on this, and that's why I'm not taking too much time to learn how to edit and make real videos, you know. Uh, I'm just making making them real quick and putting them on there but um i've got a lot of other stuff going on in my life some of it's pretty interesting i guess but uh i'll eventually put some of that in there um so um, i was thinking of making another video tonight um after all this is done and i've sold a few more things because i listed some things uh this morning when i woke up and was getting all kinds of messages and crazy offers on it um which were i happened to come across two really nice texas instrument calculators the scientific calculator one was like a ti 83 or ti 63 silver edition and like a ti 63 like a regular one and apparently they're very popular because um both of them i've been getting like five bid i think i got four bids on one of them and five bids on the other and that was literally immediately after i listed it within an hour um popular calculators i don't know um but i know texas instrument calculators is good stuff so anytime i see those i pick them up and i got a couple more actually uh so well here comes cynthia we're gonna go take we're gonna go pay some bills and i gotta drop these packages off and I'm going to finish up my day and then go home and finish packing some more stuff up. And I've actually got some more stuff to list. Um, seems like when you're doing eBay, and it, uh, when you first start off doing it more like a hobby or part-time, it seems like it turns into full-time. It becomes all-encompassing over everything that you do. Look at this lady. She's just going to walk right behind me as I'm backing up. What a fucking moron. But did you see her? I'm backing up and she didn't even care to stop. I was backing up way before she even come out the door what? and she's just I mean, would she think she's a pedestrian? I mean she is a pedestrian, right? She's a pedestrian, but she's also a human being. She should have common sense to know that a, a 2800 pound truck is gonna uh, win in the battle of uh, Stupid people. <laughs> they put up <laughs> some signs in there, baby, about. Um, uh, let me. I'm gonna. End, I'm gonna end this video because she's gonna be telling me a story, and you're not privy to it. <laughs> Bye.